But today, to talk about all this great stuff, I wanted to bring Mr. Power right because the man is very knowledgeable on fidelity. And, and I think this is going to be a very, very good topic. If you want to learn more about what's to expect from this type of movements in the market, stay tuned and watch this till the end. <music> Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Pablo Crow. And like always, always, always freaking bullish on crypto. Excited to be on crypto. Drop some lightnings in the chat, boys and girls, because we are going to talk about Volt. Not only just Volt, but we're going to talk about what's going on in crypto in general. Like, let's let's talk about fidelity, man. Let's talk about what's going on with the banks. Let's talk about how bullish things are going to become. Like, are we in a bull market, Pablo? Are we in a bull market? Well, Fidelity literally just said we are going to start doing crypto. I mean, it's freaking huge. It is so huge, right? And you're wondering yourself, how is this going to benefit? How is this going to benefit freaking crypto? How is this going to benefit Volt? Man, look, everybody's going to have their favorite, favorite altcoins, their favorite meme coins. And at the end of the day, there's only going to be that one token that everybody's going to remember. Every household name. When you think about 2021, you think about Shiba. Nothing else matter. Nothing. All you remember was Shiba this, Shiba that, Shiba, 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 Shiba right? What do you think this upcoming bull market is going to be about? It's going to be talking about Volt. Everybody's going to be talking like, do you have Volt in your portfolio? Yeah, do you have Volt in your portfolio? That's all they're going to talk about. They're going to talk about Volt. The bigger we get, the greater the Volt becomes. What makes you say that Volt won't be added to Fidelity and the crypto investments in the near future? What makes you say the Fidelity is not going to pick Volt over Shiba, over Doge. What makes you think that? Think about how bullish it is. Think about how bullish it is. We just had Poloniex refer us to Huawei. That right there is crazy to me. Think about the next referral. Think about what's coming in the road ahead of us. But today, to talk about all this great stuff, I wanted to bring Mr. Power right because the man is very knowledgeable on fidelity and I, and I think this is going to be a very very good topic. If you want to learn more about what's to expect from this type of movements in the market, stay tuned and watch this till the end. And feel the power. Can Where you hear me? Power? Can you hear me brother? I'm right here. There Can you hear you me? Are. There right, you man. are. What's up man? Man, what a exciting time to be a Crazy. part of the great experience that launched oh back in 2008 with Bitcoin. And now, and now, brother, it's 2023 and we have Fidelity, one of the, the number two largest investment firms that caters to fortune 500 companies that cater yeah, to the to the to the 37.1 million retail so, investors so huge, so huge this is this so this huge. this this man this is massive like you literally just took away the word scam out of crypto yes it's that's it's huge gone. it's gone it's <laughs> over like you can no longer say that crypto is a scam. You cannot. You're, you definitely you can't sell, call Bitcoin a scam or Ethereum. You can't, you can't man, call it a scam anymore. No more. So you literally took away the one word that's keeping away the average investor from investing in crypto. Scam. Scam. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. You wanted a bull run. Man, we've been talking about a bull run for the last three to four months on this channel. 
We've yes, been talking man. about the floor is in seven eight hundred dollars for Ethereum, 15k for Bitcoin. No way in hell is going lower. There is just too much buying pressure. We said yes. this over and over and over again. And even though everybody on Twitter, everybody on social media will say, no, 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 it's going lower. It's going lower. Well, guess what? B-I-T-C-H-E-S. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> you got to understand what's happening here, guys. You have to understand what's happening. You have to understand the market. I mean, think about how precise Volt, Volt has been so far, right? Volt literally gave you a decentralized platform when centralized exchanges were struggling. Volt gave you uh, freaking Chinese marketing before China went bullish. <laughs> Volt gave you the Indonesia number one exchange before Indonesia made an announcement that they're going to go super hype on crypto this year. Yep. Okay. And then on top of that, Volt offers you a Volt Visa card to spend in DeFi right before you can't even take money out from some exchanges <laughs> to the banks and before the banks start collapsing <laughs> think about this power like voltoshi man he's literally a god amongst men i'm a god boy from another land far from here when i came to these shores i chose to live as a man but the truth is I was born a god, and so were you. Power in crypto and outside of crypto, because you got to know both worlds just, to do this. Man. He's just doing things that I never seen a developer do, man. Never, bro. Makes no sense. I don't understand these investors. Like, I think leaving Volt to any of these projects is the most stupid trade you can do. Because look, first of all, I don't really care much about any of them because i know how they operate like cold's just chilling i don't even know what their plan is they're, they're going to develop a blockchain and i feel like blockchains right now they're just not in they're not going to make not it in. they became they're not in yeah man they're right? becoming a uh yeah a, uh, they become a history they become i look i look mm -hmm. exactly so right there right away i'm not interested right i look at tosuka tosuka says that they're backed by ryoshi well, Ryoshi doesn't even tweet about fucking Shiba. He doesn't even care about Shibarium. So what makes you think he's backing up that project? He's not. So now that's another reason why I don't care about Tsuka, right? You look at you look at uh you look at Floki, like I said, Floki pumps when Ethereum, well, I mean when Elon has his fucking dog on Twitter. <laughs> right? That's it. <laughs> that's it. And baby doge will always be in the shadow of Doge. Always. So all these things. Paw is such an irrelevant project because it's, it, it was designed to be a part of Shibarian, right? Well, guess what? Why they Shibarian need Paw is... swap for? Why they need another swap? Yeah. They got Shiba swap. I don't Dude, get it. It's, it's pointless. It's pointless because now Paw depends on Shibarian, and Shibarian doesn't really do much for Shiba alone. It's not going to do shit for Paw. See what I'm saying? So you look at all these projects and you're like, okay, none of these guys really, in my opinion, are any competition. In my opinion, Volt has outperformed, has done more and all these projects put together. And the time will come where we flip Baby Doge, where we flip Floki, and we move on to the, to the bigger dogs of crypto, right? Which at that point is going to be Shiba and it's going to be Doge, right? And once we flip Shiba, guess what? Doge is next. We will flip Doge. We will flip it. And when we flip Doge, and when we flip Doge, our top competitions are going to be the top 10 crypto in the world. And that right there is when I feel that Volt is going to have his biggest fights ever in the top 10. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Good night, Power. All right, man. Good night, bro.